Good morning, Sorcery fans. Welcome to my fourth and final beta pre-constructed deck kit unboxing and budget upgrade video. The last three videos, we looked at the earth, water, and air decks. Today, we're gonna take a look at the fourth pre-constructed deck that you get in the Sorcery pre-constructed box. Uh, this is the Flame Collar Fire deck. It looks like this. Um, it will include these two elites in the package. This is the Ancient Dragon, and that is a major explosion. It uh, includes one avatar, which is the Flame Collar, 16 Atlas, and 36 Spellbook cards. And then we have some extra cards from our booster boxes that we're going to swap out and insert into this deck to make it a little more playable. Uh, we're using one of our Kitchen Table TCG playmats. This is the red-ish playmat which I think matches the intensity of the fire elemental deck the best. So we're gonna go with that today. And, oh man. Okay, here we go. There's the flame collar. There's all of our cards in the box. Put this back. You can use these deck boxes uh, for carrying your cards around. Um, they are big enough that you can sleeve your decks up with some dragon shield sleeves and use those boxes to identify your decks. Here's all the cards that we get. Let's do a quick inventory, shall we? Just like the other decks. Flame Collar is the avatar. You tap to banish all of your dead fire minions and then you shoot a projectile. It deals damage equal to the sum of their, of their um, threshold. Oh, cool. Here is the Infernal Legion. This is an Elite. There is a Curio version of this card that has, I believe it's got five skeletons on it with a lighter artwork. Um, this is by Melissa Benson, who did Shiv and Dragon in Magic the Gathering. Also all the cores, I believe, she, Melissa did in Sorcery. So that's an awesome Elite. At the end of your turn, you deal three damage to each other adjacent unit. That's gonna go right there. We have a Colicky Dragonets. It's an exceptional end of your turn Colicky Dragonets shoot projectile, deals one damage. We have Lava Salamander, also by Melissa Benson. This is an exceptional fire spellcaster. We have two copies of Rawl Dromedary. These are ordinary beasts. They cost one and they do two damage. Power toughness. We have two Pit Vipers. They have Burrowing and are Lethal Ordinary Beasts. We have two Rimland Nomads, which are also Ordinary Mortals. Movement plus one, they take no damage from deserts. We have two Sacred Scarabs. This might be one of my favorite cards in Sorcery. It is also by Melissa Benson, Ordinary Beast with Exceptional Explosive Finale. Um, they have Death Rite, they're Airborne. They deal three damage to each unit here. So I think when they die, they explode and deal three damage. So that's pretty good. We have Wayfaring Pilgrim, an exceptional mortal. Enters each corner of the realm for the first time you may draw a card. Let's put that, those two copies in our exceptional pile. We have three copies of Ogre Goons by Jeff Mangus. They are ordinary ogres. Pretty vanilla, three to cast, three power toughness. We have one Coralsome Kobolds with is an exceptional goblins. They strike themselves or another target adjacent unit at the end of your turn. One Clamor of Harpies is an exceptional. Airborne has Genesis Teleport. Target weaker minion to this location. Clamor of Harpies may strike it. That is excellent. We have one ordinary Petrosian Cavalry has charge, costs four. Two sandworms, ordinary beasts with burrowing and land bound. Uh, Hillock Basilic is an exceptional beast. And other minions at rest here or one step in front of Hillock Basilic are disabled. Exceptional. We have an elite, uh, Ascalon Phoenix, also by Melissa Benson. This is a really Melissa Benson box here. This is a great deck has airborne and if it would take damage from a fire spell or ability it gains plus one power this turn instead 
We have Askillion Cyclops is an exceptional monster that doesn't strike back when defending. We have Wildfire is an exceptional aura that uh, you conjure to a nearby site, and at the end of the turn, each unit takes three damage, then to move Wildfire to an adjacent location it hasn't visited, and if none remain, you dispel the Wildfire. Cool. We have two copies of Firebolts. Those are Ordinary Magics. We've seen those before. We have Fireball. This is an exceptional magic of giant destruction. We have Mad Dash this is an ordinary magic. A lot of auras and magic in this deck. We have exceptional magic. This is a blaze. Gives um, an ally movement plus two. Cannot be intercepted. Heat Ray is an ordinary magic focused fire. Shoot a piercing projectile. Deal two damage. Uh, to one unit each location along this path. That's ordinary. We have two minor explosions. Ordinary magic, deal three damage to each unit at target location up two steps away. One copy of Incinerate, which is in ordinary magic, deals four damage to each other unit at target location. One copy of Cone of Flame. This is an exceptional magic. You choose a direction from the caster, you deal damage to each unit at a location in the area of effect, and this is the grid that it uses. Pretty cool, I like that one. Then we have a major explosion. This is also an elite. Uh, you target a location up to two steps away, you deal damage to each unit at location in the area of effect using the grid. So we have three elites. Now we have our... Ba -ba -ba. Our sites. This deck includes four arid deserts. These are ordinary sites. Those are great. They have Genesis and deal one damage to each minion atop target nearby site. Then we also have four copies of Red Desert. Those are also ordinary. And last but not least, we have four copies of Remote Desert. So that's all the desert sites. Get plenty of those in this pre-constructed deck. Then we have... Shifting Sands, um, there are two copies of Shifting Sands, and they both have the beta symbol after the art. There is a Curio version that has the alpha version, so be on the lookout for Shifting Sands Curio. It has Genesis, retroactive to the Genesis abilities of your nearby deserts. And then we have Vesuvius is a unique site of Doom Force foretold, and it costs... You need a th threshold of three, fire, and you sacrifice Vesuvius. Each unit occupying nearby site takes three damage. And then finally, that's a unique, we have an exceptional cornerstone by Margaret Oregon Keen. And you may play this site to any corner, which is interesting because I believe one of the, um, one of the cards comes in at the corners. All right, so that's the contents of the Flame Collar deck, in case you were curious. We also have a packet of extra fire spells and minions and things that we would like to put into this deck. Uh, we're gonna need four spell books and four atlases to make this a complete deck. And then we have some extra cards that we would like to use and could possibly take out uh, from the deck. However, Firebolts we, we noted as being a good card. We could add a third Firebolts. I think we will do that. Taking something else out. There's Mad Dash, Incinerate. Incinerate deals four damage. Uh, minor Explosion, Heat Ray. Sandworm, what's about Sandworm? Sandworm has Burrowing and Landbound. So let's just put in one extra Firebolt. Do that save these two minor explosion is good so we'll save these other two over here um, petrosian cavalry has charge we liked that let's put in an extra petrosian cavalry so now we have two cavalries cavalries not cavalry cavalry and then let's add two sacred scarabs so that we have four sacred scarabs i like how those blow things up when they die Okay, four sacred scarabs. Now we have, the, those are our 40 spell books. 
Uh, the last spell that we included in the ordinary section is Vile Imp. Vile Imp is really good. It costs two, it does two damage. It has Genesis and may deal two damage to target adjacent unit. So let's put in four copies of Vile Imp. Let's also take out four copies. Let's take out two Sandworms and two more cards. Let's take out two Pit Vipers or the Raw Dromedaries or the Nomads. So four Vile Imps and take out two of these. Uh, this takes no damage from deserts. We have a lot of deserts, so let's keep the nomads in. Pit Vipers have Burrowing and Lethal, and Raw Dromedaries are just Ordinary Beasts. So let's take out the Dromedaries, keep the Pit Vipers in. They have Lethal. Um, Colicky Dragonettes is good. Poison Nova is good. Scavenging Fiend is good. Wayfaring Pilgrim is good. Wildfire and Wills of the Wisp. And, oh, Mix Ignis. Cool. So definitely Mix Ignis will... We could sacrifice this elite potion and um, our next fire spell requires no threshold and also costs three less to cast. So if we had any fire spells that had like two or three threshold, like this Infernal Legion or this Major Explosion, we could cast these for three or four mana at a discount. So we're gonna include Mixed Ignis. We're gonna take out, um, Let's see, Dragonets, Poison Nova. Maybe take out the Cyclops. The Cyclops costs six. Doesn't strike back while defending. So yeah, let's take that one out. We can also include, I think the Heat Ray we wanna take out too. Let's add another Kaliki Dragonets. Let's take out this Heat Ray. Shoot projectile, piercing projectile. Deal two damage. Yeah, we'll take out Heat Ray. Um, we want Poison Nova is an exceptional magic. It's lethal, deals one damage to other nearby minion. Is that better than Blaze? Fireball, Wildfire, Hillock Basilisk. Let's check that one out. Other minions rest here. Yeah, let's take out Basilisk, put in the Poison Nova. And then we want to put in two Scavenging Fiends. These have Genesis, Conjure a Broken Artifact to this location. But do we have any artifacts? We do not. So let's actually, Scavenging Fiend would be good if we were playing with artifacts, but we don't have any artifacts. I guess we could take our opponent's artifacts if they had artifacts in um, that were broken. So I'm gonna put that on the like sideboard list possibly in case we run into someone that's playing artifacts, but we're not gonna include it in the main 60 card deck here. Uh, Wayfaring Pilgrim is by Jeff Mangus. This is, uh, this one is the one that enters the, each corner of the realm for the first time you may draw a card, and then that kind of goes with Cornerstone. So I like the synergy between Cornerstone and Wayfaring Pilgrim. This is an exceptional. We have two copies of Wayfaring Pilgrim, so we can only add one more. Let's put in one more. And then we'll put this other one aside. We'll take out, I think we're gonna take out Mad Dash. Draw a card, then give ally movement plus one. Or the ogres. Actually, let's take some ogres out. Let's take out one of these ogres. Ogres is pretty vanilla, so we can take that out. And we have two wildfires or wills of the wisp. Wildfires uh, do three damage and then keep moving. Wills of the wisp have a void walk and they may teleport to a nearby void um, to evade the attack. So let's actually do two wildfires. I like this card a lot. So now we have three copies. Let's just take out the other two Ogre Goons and we'll set Wills of the Wisp to the side. I think that is going to be our 40 spells. I like it. Now here's some extra sites that we could include. We have, um, we're maxed out with four copies of the Remote Desert and the Red Desert. So we'll set those aside as well. I have three copies of Ruins, which is a dual site. So this is um, when you, when, what do lies on the map? So basically you could cast minions here that have fire or air, um, but maybe your opponent, if they're playing the air deck, Spark Mage, they could cast things here, but we'll include those. And then we'll also include a Dwarven Forge, which anyone can conjure weapons and armor here and for one less mana. So that's all we have for the sites. So let's spread these out for you and give you a quick 
look at all of our 60 cards in our upgraded flame collar deck. Nothing outrageously price wise in here. I mean, the mixed Ignises you can get for four or five dollars, and they're slightly less expensive than the Ruby Core. So we have exceptionals, elites, we have a unique, a unique Vesuvius, an exceptional cornerstone, exceptional, there's an elite. There we go. All right, so here's our 60 cards. Cornerstone, two shifting sands, three ruins, Dwarven Forge, Vesuvius, and then our ordinary sites. Arid Desert, Red Desert, Remote Desert. That's 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And those all fit perfectly on there. Excellent, here's our Flame Collar, Planeswalker, we'll put that there. Now we will do our Ordinary cards, we'll lay those out for you. We have, um, let's start with Firebolts. We have three Firebolts. Then we have an Incinerate, two Minor Explosions, a Mad Dash, two Petrosian Cavalry, four Sacred Scarabs, beautiful. Two Pit Vipers, two Rimland Nomads, and four Vile Imps. Those fit down there, perfect. Four Vile Imps, beautiful. Now we have the Exceptionals. We have a one copy of Blaze, one copy of Cone of Flame, one Fireball, one Poison Nova, three Wild Fires, play set of those, one Clamor of Harpies, one Coralsome Kobolds, three Wayfaring Pilgrims, play set of those. One Lava Salamander, two Colicky Dragonettes. And then last but not least is our Elites. We are gonna do one Ascalon Phoenix, one Infernal Legion, one Major Explosion, and one Mix Ignis. So that's it, my friends. That's the full 60 card budget upgrade. You can build this for less than $100. Uh, the, the main deck was probably $10, plus I'd say I maybe swapped in 12, $15, $20 worth of cards. So this is probably like a $20 budget deck. It's pretty cool. We're gonna match it up against some of the other decks in our collection coming up on the video. We also have the Death Speaker deck that we're gonna do a deck tech on pretty soon. Um, and one more box of beta that will open up to try to get a few more uh, a few more unique cards for the Death Speaker deck before we do a deck tech on that. So feel free to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like if you're playing Flame Collar and enjoying sorcery. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, everyone.